过。Let's see. This is Emma's hometown. Artina, I worried her so much. I worried her so much. She stayed up all night the day before yesterday too. Oh, I must protect Artina at all costs. I must protect Artina at all costs. Must protect. Ah, Minna, oh hiyo. Morning, guys. Sorry. Looks like I overslept. And I wanted to chat with you all too. Thank goodness. Yuna, what's wrong, guys? We were really worried, even though we were able to get out. Once we got you here, you slept for an entire day. It seems like the whole class was taking turns watching over you. And I got my fill of looking at your sleeping as a side benefit. She doesn't really doesn't hide anything. But seriously, he's a grown man. That was a bit overprotective. Funny you should say that, Ash. You were taking shifts watching him too. Personally, I really like Ash's DLC costume over over his default outfit. I didn't think I'd be able to see you like see you safe like this too, Ash. I know it's been a while, but welcome back. Back to class seven where you belong. That's just how it went. Compared to what you went through, it was a walk in the park. Ash is only saying that because literally someone told him the same exact thing earlier. I suppose that's true. Yuse, I know you're in a difficult position, but thanks for coming back to us. On top of all your responsibilities as a mastermind. The fact that you were here in this place with us makes me happy. Right. It's strange for me as well. But... I think the answer I want to give is that I want to be able to watch over you from now on, Instructor. I see. Seriously. Just like Muse. Yuna, Kurt. I did hear about it, but... It sounds like things really were difficult. Thank you for coming to get me. Well, we did owe you a bit after all. We figured we had to return the favor for all the times you bailed us out before. Everything you've taught us until now. We applied it all to carry this through. It was a great experience. Well, a lot of people helped us out along the way. All of Class 7 included. I see. You finally woke up. Good morning, Altina. Sounds like you really struggled and worried. And pushed forward with everyone, didn't you? Thanks a lot. 
ただいま。And I'm home. リン、今日か、私。Right, we totally forgot to say it. I feel a Everyone is here. Almost everyone is here. Oh, there's his new outfit. Not bad. It's an outfit that villagers got together and prepared. The coat you were wearing was ripped to shreds. It actually incorporates a technique that should be able to suppress your magical power to some extent. Selene, Grandma, and Sister all contributed to it. It's just for peace of mind, so you do need to continue to focus. No idea if you liked the design, though. No, it's incredible. Emma, Selene, Rose, and all of the villagers, you have my thanks. It was no big deal. Well, it does suit you, but it does seem a little showy. Along with that hair color, it does match you perfectly. I like it. It's cool. Yes, well, it fits you, but black had its own sort of charm, too. I agree. Black is better. Oh, Altina, should you really be saying that? The hair definitely adds to the new effect. Well, if it's Rian, he can certainly pull it off. Yes, it's all about the way one wears clothes, anyway. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Well, I agree anyway. No, it does suit you. It seems easy to move in and it looks to be made from strong materials. It's perfect for starting a new journey. Yes, I like it. But, th but again, thank you again, everyone. Like we heard, there is no way to unravel the curse that binds me. I'll continue to live as a sacrifice until, until the conclusion of the Great Twilight. There's a chance that was decided ever since I was a child. But you decided to fight back anyway. Yes, even with my own hands that pulled the trigger of the demise. Even if it's hopeless, hopeless, I still plan to push forward. To find out what kind of curse really binds me. To find out my destiny as an Awakener. And to find out what the Seven Rivalries really means. That's right. Crow said the same thing. Where am I? All targets confirmed lost on radar. We pulled, th pulled through somehow. Well, that was terrifying. Good work, you two. But we need to find a spot to touch down. Oops, that's far enough for us. Bro, you're not coming with us? I kind of feel like we wouldn't be welcome. And now that the rivalry is starting, we need all the friends we can get. What does that mean? You're talking about the fate that awaits the Awakeners? Well, I did not intend to join you from the start. I intend to spend the time as I wish. I see. You guys are tough to get along with. You are welcome to be guests of my army anytime you wish. Especially the Swift. You seem extremely well trained.
Yeah, she seems to be the type who will go stronger and stronger the tougher it gets. You were the one trained by the saint. And lo, lo, are you planning to leave it all to us? Why would I go along with you? You people are bizarre. And you aren't even a swordswoman, Clotilde. Let me ask you one thing. Let me ask you one thing. How much do you really understand about the rivalry, bro? Just a tiny bit more than you. You feel it too, right? That there's an inescapable destiny closing around us? Now, where is the place all that will occur? So you mean... So it was true. Well, if you change your mind, hurry back here. I am your former guide that led you to become an Awakener after all. I think you should come along with me to the end while we find a clear path. Huh? It is a tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. I feel like I'll, if I join you all, I'll get crushed in a different way. Well, that is too bad, but it was good to see you again, Crow. It was. Would you two stop flirting over my head? Well, we'll go to the spirit cave if you want to learn more about the rivalry. That place I had a near miss with you. That place I had a near miss with you when I was Sieg. I'm planning to check it out my first. Check it out first myself. Spirit caves, we saw them all over. Yes, they are the places where the gnomes used to refine the Zemurian stone. We came across several of them on the east side of the empire last year during a civil war. Yes, one such passage appeared near Legram as well. 900 years ago, the witches assisted in their construction as well. Yes, based on the will of my predecessor, I do not know all the details. For generations after we lost contact with the gnomes, there were unusual places responsible for strange occurrences. Although, those places do not seem to be solely for the purification of the Zemurian stone. Is that right? Well, we did see those visions in those strange places. So, do we have any clues about where Crow might have been referring to? The place we had a near miss with him when he was Sieg. Oh, I thought I remembered you guys talking about that before. It must be that one place we went to when we were doing our study in Lemaire. Yeah, that's the only place that meets the conditions. That's right, the place you and you went to find Milium. Yeah, the island off the shore near Ordis. The place where the empty shell of a great god was. The spirit cave on Bryonia Island. There's a chance that's where Crow is headed to investigate. I know it's rushed, but I'd like to follow him there if we could. You don't have to... And you can stop right there with that. Reen, we won't even let you say it, right? No matter how much you'd like to sacrifice yourself for others, after all this, there's no way you're about to say that you want to go alone, right? Jeez, no matter how bad it gets, you keep saying the same things. Well, I know it's a bad habit and I am working on it. Sure you are. I mean, I am a cursed... I am cursed as a sacrifice like you know. I have no idea when I might lose control like that again. So in that sense, I just want to consider everyone's safety. That's why, you fool. We're pretty confident that we'll be able to hold you back the next time it happens. Yeah, like when Yuna's team snapped you out of it in the black workshop. That wasn't just us, you know. But if that happens again, I'm confident you'll be able to pull yourself out of it. Actually, it'd be a great chance to have a showdown with you again. I may be, it may be wrong of me to say this, but I'm actually sort of looking forward to it. Oh, brother. Are you being serious? You're quite hard-headed. Reen, don't underestimate us. We're class 7. We've seen our fair share of battlefields, maybe even more than some of those above us. We all got to the bottom of that dark land and brought you and the sword home. 
the place Milium and I were born, the condensation of all of the darkness in the Empire. There's nothing scarier than that left. Though I am not yet accustomed to accustomed to command, my Merkaba will be at your disposal. Plus, you should be able to get Balamar there for backup for us too. And with its spiritual energy, it should be sufficient to transport the other soul that's there as well. Wow, really? That really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot, everyone. Please lend me your note. Let's run our strength and go forward. And that's the beginning of Act 2. Well then, let's prepare to depart. I feel bad for all the villages for putting us up. You're just saying that now. They've all been helping us out for half a month. We provide any information you need in terms of facilities and so on, so please do not hesitate to ask. And if we have time, let's head to the Bass too. I knew you were going to say that. Alright, let's get going. Beyond Class 7, there were a lot of people that helped me out. I should go greet them before we depart. All right. And with that, that will be the conclusion for today's stream. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Dear god. I cannot wait to check the VOD on that last fight. Oh my god. I struggled so hard. Oh, I'm struggling, but I can't believe I managed to get it first try. It was great. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Is there anything else I can do? Um, not really. Nothing really. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome back. So yesterday we finally reclaimed Instructor Reen, or Reen in general, and he's now in his new snazzy outfit. Um, and off stream I went ahead and rearranged everybody's squirts um, to my preferable liking for all the people that mattered. And then everyone else just got the sloppy leftovers. So I'm pretty sure that was just obvious once you start looking at them. Anyways, uh, that's all I did. Um, I couldn't really do too much because I don't really have much available resources but anyways let's uh, go ahead and do stuff oh hello Reen looks like you're preparing to depart that black outfit is quite fitting Reen thanks so Tilde, I need to thank you again for everything. You are welcome. We also got the chance to investigate the gnome's base anyway, and it's quite good to be able to cooperate with the general and Thomas as well. Oh, this prodigal girl. If you knew what we were planning, you should have contacted us. Are you sure you didn't talk to her at all before this? Well, I did mention something, just to have a little, ba just to have a little backup. That's precisely why we were able to come at that time. There's something else, you know that. You're as whimsical as ever, sister. I've ever I've noticed that ever since you and I shared this room. Wow, is that right? So you lived here with Emma then? Well, Grianus and I were here too. How nostalgic. It's been ten years since then. Everything's is exactly the same, even the furniture. I wish you'd at least remove my bed. Well, we can't, right? You came back after all. And the next time you take off on a whim, you'll have, you'll have a place to come home to. Oh dear, you really can't be apart from your big sister for a minute, can you? You're the one at fault for making us all worry, you know. Yeah, that's it. Scold her more. Oh, grandmother. I have to because you won't do it. Uh. Emma is the same as ever. I heard she was the class president of old class 7. It's the perfect role for her. Oops. 
Well, it is quite busy now, but it really is nostalgic. Anyway, I'm counting on you with Crow. You should be able to get the story out of him regarding the rivalry of or the curse. You should have information even I do not have from when he was with the gnomes. And you don't feel like telling us anything anyway. Seriously, where did I go wrong when I was raising you? At it. I'll make sure to hear the truth from him directly then. Please leave Crow to us. Thanks. It's up to you, Reen. But it's sort of moving to see you both standing there together. It would be nice if Grianos was still here as well. It would. Are you certain his soul is split? Yes, I did something horrible. But if I collect all of the pieces, I should be able to create him anew. On my name as the Azure Abyss. Hmm, you yourself may, able, may be able to do it. Creating familiars has been a secret art of mine for hundreds of years. Oh, come on now, Grandma. It's possible because of your wisdom. I've had more occult crap than I can take for the day. Well, this is the banter of witches after all. Oh, that's right, Slane. Why are you not in human form? I thought you accepted the notion by now. Oh, good point. She returned to her original form at some point. It was such a pretty figure. It seems like sort of a waste. I told you I don't like being in that form. Uh, she herself seems to be resisting it personally. It seems like it's more complicated. Customers? Hey Thor's guys, you're going around getting prepared before we go then? Yeah, but so many people helped me out. I said and I have to thank you so much. You rush into a place like that for me. It's fine, it's fine. I heard about everything you guys went through. The army is getting more and more vigilant, so things might get even more dangerous. But I've already decided to help you guys, so please do not worry about it. Thanks again, Josette. It sounds like your brother is pretty active on the Bobcat now, right? Yeah, this is no longer just the Empire's problem after all. They're off towards the Burla and the Republic now. Is that right? Well, just let me know if you're running low on weapons. I can procure anything from anti-aircraft missiles to bombs. Oh, we're fine with the mounted machine guns and turrets. We're not sky pirates anymore. I did hear that you used to be pirates, and the weapons came from Nainvari. Well, I came to you because it seems like we'll be fighting more, but I guess I can only buy secondhand goods from you. Bullets are free for first time customers, though. I sell fully automatic too, but it's pretty pricey, so watch out. Got it. I'll place an order if I run low. Wow, what a great partnership. Well, Jingo has helped us out in the past too. By the way, what are you planning on doing now, Jingo? I heard you're leaving Elin. Are you heading back to the main branch in Crossbell? No, I'm not planning on traveling with Mama. I don't have a whole lot of downtime. I have some big jobs coming up. I'll be traveling part of the way on the Capua ship. Big jobs? I wonder what it kinds. It might be best not to ask. Given the situation, it's not surprising that she's busy. In any case, it sounds like you helped out as well. Let's meet again someday. Sounds good. I'll gather all my best goods. Right, thanks. We're going to exchange info a bit more. See you with the rest of class 7 later, Reen. Right, see you guys later. Huh. Randy, Agate? Oh. You're heading out then? 
You're looking pretty good, aren't you? The villagers kindly prepared this outfit especially for me. And you guys must be. I saw you yesterday, but it's nice to see you again. I'm Renbright, the adoptive daughter of your senior. Wow, is that right? I see. General Cash is... Yes, we're not acquainted, but I've heard of him many times from the master. Aaron Marine Schwarzer. Nice to meet you, Ren. And thanks for your help with my rescue. You're welcome. He's more calm and philosophical looking than I thought. I'm worried he'll start reminding me more of Lo. And I saw you last in Crossbow, right? Did you change your hair since then? Yep, three months ago. I'm Kia Banix. Nice to meet you, Reen. You, uh, you too. So you helped out as well then. Thanks a lot, Kia. I don't know how to thank all of you. You're welcome. I just figured I'd do whatever I could. Since you're the key for unlocking any feature we want, Reen. The key? I am? That's Kibo's intuition. She can see causality, this girl. As a remnant of when she was the Septarian. I thought we were done with the occult shit for the day. You speak so truthfully, it's impossible not to believe it. But the fact that the instructor is back opens the future then? No, I don't know that much. I only know that the possibility exists. In that sense, the place we're heading next, that may show us the path to get there. The place where Crow Armbrust is waiting. Yeah, so he's the other Divine Knight Awakener. And the last remaining member of your class 7. Seems like you finally are able to get pumped together. Yeah, everything starts here, I think. Randy Agate, thank you both so much again. Don't mention it. We're friends, you don't have to be so formal. Got it. Oh, that's right. You two are leaving on the Bobcat then? Yeah, I'm gonna comb the west side of the Empire again. Of course, Tita, but... We also can't get in touch with Sherizard either. And I'm going to head to the east side and meet up with Estelle while I look for clues about those two as well. If either side figures anything out, let's contact each other by a long distance connection, okay? Oh wait. Yeah. I think we should be able to look clues about for by Tio first. I wanna help without with that too. Uh wait. We'll keep an eye on anything for the related to Dr. Tio as well. I will, thank you. Please tell him that when you get back to Crossbell. I will, I hope you get to meet him soon. Me too. Instructor Reen and Lloyd, they did meet once before. I think next time it will be completely different from back then. That's right, you two are leaving the Bobcat then? Yeah, I'm gonna comb the west side of the Empire again. Of course, Tita, but we also can't get in touch with Sherizar either. And I'm going to the east side, yeah, I already read this part. I'm worried about Tita. I really hope she's with the other branch school supporters. That's right, and we still haven't found Instructor Tell or some of the other students yet. Well, considering the government's plan, the chance that Tita is in serious danger seems low. Even if she was captured, I believe she would be handled appropriately by the authorities, so please do not worry too much. Yeah, thanks for that, Miss Lady of Cayenne. Seems like you're a different sort of genius than I am. Perhaps we could get a little tea party while we figure out where Tita is? Eastern tea is quite delicious, and it might be fun to play a game or two together. Of course, I would be looking forward to it. The shoe versus danger lolly. Just the idea of it makes me a little scared. Well, she was incredibly helpful in this case, at least. Aurelia Seren Fee. Principal? No. General Aurelia. Thank you very much for everything you did while I was in that state. There is no need for thanks. More importantly, won't you join us for some ale, Schwarzer? The Purple Lightning recommended it, so it is superb. Uh... This ale has a scent of lavender in it. It's refreshing and refined, it'll make, and it'll make you completely drunk. I mean, it's the middle of the day and we're in front of the students. 
Laura aside, I'm sure you're drinking something else, right, Fee? Nope, the same lavender ale as them, but it's non-alcoholic. I am also drinking non-alcoholic. Even though I am the age, I am of age like Yuri, I do not want to drink so early in the day. Well, the general and I hardly feel this little bit anyway. It is a matter of being used to it to some extent. The lavender ale. Since I have non-alcoholic ale, I think I want to try some. I don't know if I'll like it though. Yes, I do not know about the idea of purposely drinking something so bitter. Well, like matcha, there is deliciousness and bitterness too. Yeah, I actually like it, surprisingly. You little kids just don't understand adult tastes. Oh, you shut up. That was quite irritating. I'm so glad they're all getting along. Lavender ale from the witch's village though. Not now, but eventually I'd like to try it out for sure. So they have the Ritual of Ignorance and Vigana's Retainer. These are books banned by the church. This is an outrage. You say that, but you seem quite interested. Well, banned items are collectibles after all. But they seem like harmless things people in the, in the ground read. Well, then as a souvenir? Wait. It's expensive. If only I had Kevin's marble at a time like this. Well, there's no choice. I'll just have to save up my pocket money. Are you really the leader of the church's order of chivalry? We saw an interesting side of him. Thomas Lysander. Oh, Rinkun Tachi. Nice to see you all. Squire Rosine. Thanks a lot, Rosine, and thanks again for your help. I can't thank enough. Thank you enough for coming in with the partition, Instructor Thomas. No, no, I simply had to pull it off since you were all in there. But in that sense, Gaius and all of Class Seven helped out quite a bit. The soldats arrived as well, and they are incredibly helpful. No, no, no way. We are in your debt. More than power, we succeeded with the power of love, right? But the Merkba are special ships for the Grauswitzer, then? That's right, they are given to Dominion, like Gaius and me, for special use. The engine is a bit of a cheat, but it's also outfitted with state-of-the-art weapons. There has not been much time since I succeeded my predecessor, Sir, Sir Barkhorn, so I am yet to become comfortable with it. As a result, Regina has been serving as my backup. I'm looking forward to working with you further. I see. We're counting on you. So, you plan to leave with your own Mugurbo after this, Instructor Thomas? Yes, I'll be working with the Order's headquarters on the eastern side of the Empire. In actuality, among the 12 units that exist, we were intending to bring four of them. However, numbers 5 and 9 were called off due to other troubles. I see. It sounds like things are happening outside of the Empire then. Yes, I must exchange information with them then. In any case, I'm glad you returned safely, Rain. As your former Instructor, I'm more than happy to lighten your load, even if only a little. Thank you so much, Instructor Thomas. I'm so glad, really. Wow, I never thought that I'd have an onsen here though. It definitely it's definitely a luxury I didn't expect this to be able to partake in before departing. Looks like you like it. He's completely enjoying himself already. 
I'm still kind of embarrassed about this whole mixed bathing thing. Well, we have bathing suits and bath clothing on, so... And since the instructor is from a hot springs town, he has high resistance. Other than if I accidentally get close enough to touch him. And you stop already. Ow, don't take her seriously. It seems you're even more accustomed to baths than I am. Oh. Principal, sorry to enter before you. And you two are here too. Yep, we wanted to get in one more time. This place was quite fun, but this onsen was especially good. I've been in five times since we got here yesterday. And if you were a bit slower to awaken, I would have entered twice more. I know how you feel. It's like there's no resistance at all. The little girl's aside, that principal is dangerous, isn't she? I thought this before too, she's quite overwhelming. But since the general is here, I'll have to wait for another chance. You don't learn your lesson, do you? Ooh, you've gotten bigger, haven't you, you know? And that noble lady over there is only one year older than me. It's quite something. Kia, stop it. There are boys in here too. Well, there are personal differences and you still have room to go, Ren. That's right, I'm two years behind after all. Hey, the... Do you mind if I get out first? Uh, you're so innocent, young master. Afterwards, they were treated to coffee and fruit milk by the master at the inn, and enjoying it together, they parted ways. We just got out of the bath a bit ago. Did you guys go in too just now? Yeah, we wanted to enjoy once more before departing. Yeah, and now we feel totally refreshed. Yes, but do you but you do quite remind me of an elderly person whenever you're relaxing. Cut me some slack. I do work hard all the time. I deserve a break. After getting out of the bath, you just sort of unintentionally sigh like that. Yep. But you three seem a little standoffish, don't you? You're just noticing that? Well, without you, we weren't able to move forward at all. Well, anyway, we'd really like to treat you to something soon, anywhere you like. You are all so close, aren't you? Yes, it's almost dazzling. Now... Let's talk with Valmar. Good old Valmar. Where are you, buddy? Valimar and... I felt both of their presence back when everyone was calling out to me. But they led me to their strength. I think I remember them saying that. Instructor Reen? I won't show Valimar or Milliam that nasty side of myself again. No, that's not it. I decided this long before. No matter if I'm clumsy, no matter what I end up looking like, I will overcome the rivalry. So I'll be counting on both of you even more now. Seems like he's quite pumped now. The rivalry. I want to support him as much as we can. Well, we're kind of linked to him now, so I don't think we have a whole lot of choice. Now, the airships. The Merkaba, the tactical warship of the church, and the Jusset's Bobcat. I did take care of thanking the people who helped me out, so we should head to Bryony Island now? Yes, let's go. Everyone, thank you so much, really. Thanks so much, Ren, Kia, Jingo. Good luck, guys. I'll tell Estelle all about this. And I'll tell Lloyd, too. Well, take care now. I'll be searching for Tiosuke while I back up the students. I'll call you once I find some clues. Right, Randy, be careful now. And I'll be working with the other bracers while I go after Tita. Seraphi, later then. Yep, good luck. These find shares are too now. Even though our path split here, let's keep cooperating while we plan our moves. Good luck in the battle ahead, Schwarzer and Lady Milkeen. Thank you, thank you. 
you too, General. Well, I don't think we have much to worry about with you guys or the Black Whirlwind either. We're counting on you, General. Best of luck. Emma, Celine, and you too, old lady. It was short, but I'm glad I was able to stop by. I'm sure a lot will happen starting now, but please try to take it easy. Sister, don't push yourself too hard. Don't forget to contact us once in a while. Well, if something happens, don't hesitate to call. Then, it's about time. Guys, Rosine, best of luck to, both of you, to you both. Manager, I appreciate it. I'll provide support to everyone. See you later. I'll help anytime I'm needed, so just give me a shout. Thanks, Josette. You really helped out so much. Take care now. Shall we get going too? We've completed our test of carrying the Soldats and the Divine Knights via spiritual power. Then, let's get going. Rose, guys, thanks a bunch. It's all thanks to you that we made it this far. We will definitely repay the favor. Don't be awkward. Come by as many times as you like. Everyone take care. Well then, do be careful now. Right, let's go everyone. Right! Current time is 1324, 1324, now above the Tyrrhenia Plateau, awaiting course orders. Plot a course via the Marwa coast, no, make that the Olbia Lowland. Lowland. Proceed west along the river, out onto the peninsula, then north once we are over the sea. Yes, Captain. The Imperial fleet is maintaining a heavy watch over the skies as we thought. This is crazy. It's like we're cheating. I didn't make it onto the bridge when you're breaking out of the workshop. So, this is the Merkaba, a special warship dedicated to the use of the Dominion of the Graalsrithir. Yes, this is the ship I inherited from my predecessor, Sir Barkhorn, who was being interested in the Holy Nation until it could probably mix with my stigmata. The Holy Nation, Arteria, the seat of the Stepian Church, right? But based on the technology of this bridge, it is a certain foundation supporting you? No comment. There are some political restrictions after all. I see. There are some poli- after all, this ship should not formally, formally exist. In any case, we'll have to take a detour to get there, so it might take some time. I know it's cramped, but try to relax until then. Right, we'll do that. We can head out on the deck too, right? You, they even have a reference room, workshop, and medical facility on board. Yes, feel free to visit any part of the ship other than the engine room. Well, I'll go look for a place to take a nap. I saw a counter that looked like a bar downstairs, so I'll go get a drink. No, you will not. They're really helping us out, so try not to make things harder. Crow, Crow is definitely waiting on that island. The seven rivalries. I need him to explain the truth of them to me. Even if the truth is hopeless and severe. Well, the bridge, the sick bay, and break rooms are on this floor. On the other floors, there was lounge, workshop, and reference room, and training room. Let me go check with everyone while we wait. You'll be controlling Green alone on the Merkaba. Once you visit each block and see the required events, the story will advance.
Hi, Laura. Wow, I see. So you're already using the newest OS on the board on board the ship. Yes, it gives us access to a special developer mode. I'm sure you already know about it, Lisa. Yes, fortunately, I've been studying up on it. Can I borrow the manual? I'd like to get a cut up on it while we wait. Sure, here it is. Looks like you two are at it. Yes, the other Dominion will be back soon as well. I was wondering if there was any way I could lighten their load. So, she'll be helping me for the time being. I'd like to help her on the ship too, so just let me know if you need anything. Although, I have no idea what we'll end up talking about on Bryonia Island. Indeed, I too do not know Crow's, tr Crow's in true intentions, but I have a feeling it will be a particularly important discussion for all of Class 7, and you in particular, Reen. I think that's definitely true. Alisa? No, nothing. Don't worry about Crow too much, just try to relax for now. In addition to the break room, there is a lounge on the lower level as well. You can go out to the deck as well, so please enjoy yourself. Oh, that reminds me, our copy of the black record seems to have been lost. Now that you mention it, and you were finally able to start studying it, I feel bad. Of course not, it's understandable given all that happened. Sir Thomas has already relayed our interpretation of the black records to Altaria. We have received permission to investigate them further, so they are in the reference room on the lower level of this Merkaba. Our analysis is contained as appendices, so if you'd like to learn more, feel free to find them in the reference room below. I see. That's great, thanks. But you're always so helpful, Rosine. We have to help each other. You can now read the black records in the Merkaba reference room. You'll be able to read even more as the story advances. Oh, Instructor Reen, good to see you. Oh, so this is where you, where you two are, but this is really an amazing ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a bit more capable than a typical ship in terms of specs. I heard that Lloyd's team was on a different one, one, was on a different one of these ones. But to think we we're able to pull off something like this. Playing Valimar with energy using the Merkaba spiritual power. And since they were connected anyway, your soldats were able to be towed along stably as well. It seems like they're using technology from the Epstein Foundation as well. In addition, they are using a pseudo active camo field around them as well. The Growl Switzer may be using similar over technology as the society and the gnomes. It seem definitely seems like there is something beyond normal tech anyway. But guys, and Rosine are really great allies to have. We really owe them a lot for this. We do. You're always able to be so transparent with your feelings, you know. I'll, I get the weird feeling that you're teasing me. No way. Well, maybe about 0.1%. Hey. Reen? I heard from Yusis and Elisa that you really kicked them into gear before. And you also opened the door for Ash and Musa to get back into class 7. Yuna, you've been at the center of this whole of the whole class and you're really working hard. No, no, I didn't do much. No, it's true. You really did pull class 7 together when the instructor wasn't with us. Grit was praising you for that too. Wait, really? So, I have to thank you again. You really were able to stand in for me when I was totally out of play. I have no idea what to expect for us on the island, but I'll keep doing my best as your instructor so we don't lose all the momentum you gained for us. I'm counting on you too. I'm counting on you too, Yuna, Altina. Of course. Oh, s seriously, but yeah, me too. Huh? Yuna? There was something I really regretted when we lost you, Instructor. Why couldn't I say it? Why wasn't I honest about it? Reen, thank you so much. Two years ago, you saved our lives, mine and my siblings.
It was right after you came to Crossbell as the Ashen Chevalier. You saved a girl and two little kids who were thrown from a truck on the road. I'm sure you don't remember who it was that you saved. No, of course I remember. I mean, your hair color is hard to forget. I didn't remember right away after we met, but as soon as we started having class, I remembered. You were covering those kids with the body after being thrown from the truck. I remember thinking, wow, you really are a police academy student. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Do you have any idea how much I struggle with this? Oh, I can't stand you. Sorry, but a lot happened. You know, to me, my role in Crossbell was all for show. It's not an experience I'm proud of. Actually, being able to save you kids back then kind of saved me. So, I should thank you too. Is that right? Wait, why the hell are you thanking me now? It's tough to see them as anything but friends now. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest. Celine, you got yourself some milk then? Yeah, I was a little thirsty. And there we go. What are you doing all of a sudden? Well, I was just thinking that I couldn't- I really didn't thank you personally since all- since all that. It, it's fine, I, d I don't care. Just hear me out. Thanks again for everything, Celine. You were at my side the entire time when things were the worst. The only thing I'm able to- The only reason I'm able to be here today is because of you, Celine. No, I was just carrying out my mission. But I need to thank you more than I can put into words. I'm sure eventually we'll have a little break from everything. When that time comes, please allow me to return the favor. You're almost too sincere, you know. Well, fine. I'll be waiting, but I won't get my hopes up. <laughs> well, she didn't say hmm, but I added that anyway. Go find Machias. Please start. Machias, were you doing some of your work as an in inspectorate? Yeah, I was thinking I'd be able to gather some good information while investigating my targets. I was hoping to get in touch with Stefan as well, but... Stefan was in the chess club with you, right Machias? I thought he was working for the regular army and orbital net communications now. Yeah, but considering the nature of his duties, all contact from the outside is cut off. I was hoping I can get in touch with him, but I could offer some support. Well, considering the situation, it might be tough for now, but I think you should relax a bit too, Marcus, and not worry about it so much. Yeah, I got it. Alright, I just remembered. Do you know about Pompto Reed? Oh yeah, I saw that app on my Arcus. Then perfect. No, uh, I know you want to play Marcus, but we ain't playing Pompto. I think the comparison, I don't know, it seems about the same size, 2D, 3D, I'd say it's alright, it's very similar, the only difference here is that these two, you can't really see, you never really saw these two rooms back here, or did it never have them? She's training in her Kanochi outfit, or well, not really, whatever. Okay, so what now? Change zones. Attention all members of the crew. We are currently on approach to Bryonia Island. We will be arriving in 30 minutes. Please begin preparations for arrival. Wow, I guess the tactical warship of the trace will be pretty fast. Bryonia Island. I wonder what we'll discuss there. You feel it too, right? That there's an inescapable destiny closing around us. I think you should come along with me to the end, while we find a clear path. All we can do now is face forward, no matter what destiny is waiting for us ahead. I don't want to worry everyone, let me wash my face 
in the bathroom real quick. I don't know, personally, like, when you see the, the Merkaba from the outside, like, when you just see it, like, flying around, it looks so small. It's like, how does everything, like, fit? <laughs> but then when we're actually on it, there's so much space. Silver hair, red eyes. I look like a vampire, don't I? After all, the Nosferatu were sacrifices for the curse as well. Although, at least they're uglier than I am is another sacrifice. Oh my god, she walked in in her, in her bikini. Uh, sorry, you need the bathroom? Wait a second, I'll... Lisa? Sorry for surprising you, but your hair, your eyes, they aren't turning back, are they? No, they aren't. But I mean, this is kind of cool this way too, isn't it? It'll always be cool to me, no matter what you look like. Okay, so, now the following dialogue, I would be, get, be getting special dialogue if I picked Elisa in Sen 3, but I didn't pick her. I denied her, I denied her, um, advances and friendzoned her, and I picked, I think, Laura or Sarah. Elisa. Uh, but I'll just read it anyway. As their important colleague and as the most important in the world to me, otherwise, as their important colleague and to me, Lisa, uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to act strange like that all of a sudden. I'll be heading down to the lounge. I need to go read the manual Rosine lent to me after all. Right. She was acting a little strange. Well, considering her position, I guess it's not surprising. Alright, to the bridge. Let's go talk to Gaius. I think that's the, like the, one of the first moments in any of the Trails games you actually have to go to the bathroom for anything. <laughs> Bathrooms are literally irrelevant in video games. But like, okay. Oh, shower room. Okay, so if I picked at least that she would have said, as her important colleague and as the most important person in the world to me, Oz, Elisa? Green? Elisa? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to act strange like that all of a sudden. And then, as her dear friend and as the one most connected to her, I can't just let it be. You know what I should have done? Oh my god. You know what would have been great for the scene? Because I know- Well, yesterday, you guys said I should have put, um, Osborne's, uh, Face mask or head on Elisa. Just imagine Elisa <laughs> walking into the shower room with that hat on. That would have been great and a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Okay.
We'll be arriving at Baronia Island soon then, right? Yeah, like we predicted, the surveillance on the Navy of the Navy over the sea is lighter. We just need to identify our landing zone. If we land at the wharf directly, it will be facing the sea capital in Juno, where masses of soldiers are gathered. Let's see. The island is covered in mountains and cliffs, so besides the wharf, I don't think there's much choice. Oh, actually, the beach on the northwest side of the island might work. Yes, I was thinking that. You were already planning for that, then? Oh, right. A few months ago, you did come to the island to back us up, didn't you? You said you were sent by a friend. Did you mean... You got me. Once I returned to my country, Sir Thomas sent me the ship. Rosine and Elrond were quite helpful to me then as well. Well, that was after the Durflinger arrived on site anyway. Back then, we really had to dodge detection by the society. It was really dangerous. It was really too bad that we had to pull out right away though. So that's what happened. Anyway, since I was there then, based on my experience, I concluded the beach on the North Shore as well. We'll be there in 20 minutes. You should fi you should finish your preparations. Right, got it. I need to double check my equipment. Am I ready to wait on the bridge? Yep. Bryony Island is coming into view. Wow. I remember that silhouette. So that's what it looks like from the sky. How nostalgic. Yep, two years already, huh? Alright, B team came here on their field study, right? Yep, well team A was in the Nord Highlands. Yeah, and Laura and Fee were really at each other's throats back then. It was really tough. That was long ago. I was so young. I think you're still pretty young, Fee. Oh right, I ended up stopping by Baron Allen and then heading up to Nord. Is that right? That really brings back memories. Yeah, it really does. As planned, proceed to the beach on the northwest side through the stealth route. Everyone prepare for the landing. No, I didn't see it coming at all, but like, shit. I think the biggest clue was literally his coat. The coat is all- the coat is literally the reveal.